Today I want to talk about squashing feature branches and fast forward merging. Let's start with a fresh example project. Um, let's make a new directory called farm, initialize a git repository. Okay, so now let's edit some files. Let's call the first file cat text and say the cat says meow. Okay, let's add that file to um, the index. There we go. Another file dog text. Let's say the dog barks, doesn't really say anything. Okay, add it to the index. There we go. That's a fine index. Now I want to take a, a snapshot of that index um, in a new commit. So commit, and let's call it it's raining, raining cats and dogs. Okay, there's our first commit. Cool. Mm, maybe let's add another file. Let's call it cow. The cow says moo. <laughs> okay, add a cow. There we go. And another commit. Uh, cow say. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, now let's um, switch to a new branch. So let's call the branch quotes. And let's out. There we go. Um, and now on the quotes branch, I want to add two new commits. Um, first, I want to fix the meow by adding quotes. Okay. Now uh, let's do an index before I add anything. Now let's add the cat text, the new version. There we go. Now you can see the cat text has a different hash. That's looking good. Um, new commit, let's call it uh, cat quotes. Okay, then let's edit the cow. The cow says moo. Okay, uh, let's add the cow and let's look at the index again. Now the cow should have a different hash. Yeah, 588 to 5b8. Okay, let's immediately do a new commit. Quotes. Now the history looks like this. And that's typical of feature branches. Um, they are ahead of master. There are several commits. And um, at some point in time, maybe after, I don't know, two, three, four hours, I'm done with the feature. And I want to merge the feature back into the master branch. So you could be inclined to say, hey, let's check out the master branch. And then let's merge the quotes branch. And there we go. Let's go on to the next issue. <laughs> Okay, but um, some people say when you have a feature branch or bug fix branch that consists of several commits, before the merging, you should compress them down or squash them into a single commit. And I want to show you how that's um, achieved. So first we have to reset the master branch back by two commits. So it's back at the cow cell. That's looking good. Okay, now let's go back to the um, quotes branch. Okay. There we go. And now I want to squash um, those two commits onto a single commit. How would I do that? So the first possibility is an interactive rebase, starting two commits down the line. Um, and I can say I want to have both these commits, but the second commit I want to squash into the first commit. And you can see the explanation down here. Use commit, but meld into a previous commit. I only want to have one um, final commit. Here I can combine the two commit messages, let's simply, I don't know, call it add quotes, then I don't need this guy. And we should have um, a nice commit message. There we go, add quotes. And how does this commit differ from the commit before? You can see both the cat and the cow quotes were added. Okay, then we will check out the master branch and merge the quotes branch and um, everything will be fine and of course, the diff shows you the exact same result. It's the, it's the same commit. Okay, mm, that's an interactive rebase. Okay, let's um, go back to the state before. Okay. Now I want to go back to the state where we had two commits for the quotes. Uh, that would be this commit. Okay. Now we should have the same state as before. Yeah. OK, 
cat quotes and cow quotes. Okay, so instead of an interactive rebase where you have to edit text files, what you could also do is say, hmm, I want um, the quotes branch to go back, uh, go back to the cow say commit, but I don't want to touch the staging area. So let's see. Um, this is the, is the state of the staging area uh, with this history. Now, if I say I want to do a soft reset by two commits, you will see um, that now the quotes branch is on the cow say commit, just like the master branch, but the index hasn't changed. So you can see it's the exact same index. Um, so the status will now say that um, some files have changed, right? Cat and cow have changed and they are green because they are the, the changes are already in the staging area. So I can immediately do a new commit and call it add quotes just like before. And here you can see there's our new commit. Right? I find this a little more, I don't know, less annoying. <laughs> Simply reset soft back to the master commit basically and then immediately add another commit. And of course, uh, we could uh, merge that back into master just as well. Right, there we go. And you can see it contains um, both the changes. Okay, now let's go back like this. And on the quotes branch, I hope I find the magic incantation. There we go. That should be the same state as before. Yeah. Okay, now I will show you a third possibility. Um, so we are on the quotes branch. You can see it here, head points to quotes. Um, and cow and cat are, are in the state that we are um, interested in. They are both um, fixed. Now I want to go back to the master branch, but I don't want to touch the staging area and the working directory. So if I simply do a checkout, um, the staging area and the working directory will be changed. I don't want to do that. I just want head to point to a different um, branch. And in order to do that, um, I hope re you remember that inside the git directory is a head file. The head file is basically this um, head pointer, which says, well, currently we are on the quotes branch. Okay, and if I simply edit this file, say, no, 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 I don't want to be on the quotes branch. I want to be on the master branch. Um, I simply edit this one text file. I don't change anything else. Now you will see that we are no longer on the quotes branch. We're now on the master branch, but the staging area and working directory have not changed. So um, that means that our nice modifications are still in the, in the staging area. So I can immediately commit them and call it, I don't know, add quotes. There we go, right? And now I can see the quotes branch still has the uh, individual commits and the master branch has melded them into a single commit. And in case you don't believe me, here you can see it contains both those um, changes. Because this commit is not just uh, the cow fix, it's uh, the state of the uh, the staging area at that point in time. And um, I simply had to um, copy that state into a new commit. That's what I did here. Okay. Um, now you have to be really careful with this trick because it only works for fast forward merges. I'm going to show you how badly it breaks. Um, I'm on which branch am I now? On the master branch. Okay, so let's go back one commit. Right, I'm going to show you how it breaks uh, if um, uh, if we don't have the fast forward situation. Okay, so um, maybe let's fix another file on the master branch, the dog file. Let's say the dog barks and he also likes to chew on toys. Okay, uh, let's add the dog to the index and do a new commit, uh, toys. Okay, and now you can see that the master and quotes branches have diverged. Okay, so if I now did a classical merge, uh, merge with the quotes branch, 
you will see I have to enter a commit message because now we have a merge commit. There we go, right? We have a merge commit, merge commit because master and quotes had diverged and they had to be merged back together. Okay, let's go back one commit. There we go. Mm, now we still have our fix in place. Yes. Um, what happens if I now do um, the same trick as before? So um, let's go back to the quotes branch. Um, now the um, head file is in, in, in this state. Um, instead of manually adding um, this file, you can also issue a git command that would be git symbolic ref head refs heads oops, heads master. Okay. Now we're on the master branch and the staging area is in the same state as on the quotes branch. So if I now do a commit and quotes, you will see um, the history looks like this. So um, <clears throat> from the diversion point on, we um, modified the dog text file and it looks like we then just added the quotes, but this commit is in the same state as this commit and this commit didn't know anything about the um, dog toys. So I would expect that our changes to the dog have been lost. Let's say, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Right. And if you now do a diff, you can see that indeed those changes were lost. So that um, that trick where you uh, check out a feature branch and then uh, switch to the master branch and then do a new commit that only works for forward branches. Otherwise your changes, your uh, changes after the uh, diversion uh, will simply be lost. So be very careful with this trick, but I find it really interesting. Bye.